Hey, this is Mastix with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and we are going to talk about Awakened Summons, and we're going to get really deep into this today. I've been meaning to get this out, but I wanted to have some time to get some stuff together. So with that, let's go ahead and start. First off, Awakened Summon should not be a high priority for anybody unless you're on an early server and don't need to handle anything else at this point, first and foremost, okay? It's not that big of a benefit in the end from all the testing I have done with it. Is it nice? Yes. Does it help? Yes. Is it necessary? Hell no. Okay, but let's first talk about how you get these. Well, first off, of course, you have your summon, as you can see, but where do we get those from? There's actually lots of options to get them for little to no cost. First off, you have your daily refresh. If you've got plenty of gold, of course, you can always buy 60 five times a day at 150k. You can drop some soul jades if you want, but eh, no biggie, I wouldn't. Another great place to get them is in the tr uh, treasure trial. Um, you can get basically, they've added it now, so you can get 500 twice a month because you get um, 10 of those chests and you can convert those chests into 50 each. So that's a thousand a month right there that you can get them. You can also get them in the daily packs for $4.99. As well as they have a weekly pack and a monthly pack that I wouldn't recommend, quite honestly. But the daily pack's a pretty good deal at five bucks if you want to spend. But, you know, and they've popped up in a few other event areas where you can get them. So it's your choice. Again, I'm not putting a high priority on it. What I've gotten and tried to put together over the last three to four weeks since it's come out is really for testing purposes and to show you guys if it's really worth it or not in the long run. Um, the, the, the nice thing is there is a wish list, as you can see. So you can pick five characters that are preferred drops that you get. Um, there's quite a few characters involved. Um, and I've kind of basically gone with the characters I like to use and have fun with and just been going from there. I haven't really stuck with who I think is going to get benefit the most. I've gone with more likely the characters I would use because I'm not going to build up a character just for what they have to offer. You know, Maori is my favorite character. You're probably never going to get a new one for quite some time, if ever. So I, I went for him first. And as you can see, I did get his completed. And as you can see, when you have them all five, you awaken both skills. And the first skill was you recover 500 rage after activating Mad Scientist. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Um, and the, the one that is six of six, his rage attacks inflict two stacks of poison on targets for two rounds. Okay. You know, you, you would think, oh, that sounds so great. But when you start to play him, it's not really groundbreaking um, for the most part that I've seen. Does it help? Yes. Okay, definitely. But what I've really come to enjoy is just adding these to characters I know I'm going to be using, okay? And and help maximize them. Like, I love Shinji, okay? And I use Shinji all the time. But he's, you know, he he's he's getting a little long in the tooth sometimes for, for durability. So, you know what? I threw, throw these on him. And, you know, I'm getting... An extra 5% attack, an extra 5% of defense, an extra 5% HP. So that's the stuff where I'm actually liking this more than the extra skills. Not to say that I don't appreciate it because some of them have turned out to be much better than others. For instance, the second one I went for hardcore was Unahana because <clears throat> I liked hers a lot and I still use her a lot. Um, and hers actually have turned out to be pretty good. Problem is, still doesn't help her stay alive, but of course, you've got the benefit of when she dies, she boosts the team, so it's a win-win in any situation. You know, her rage attacks heal targets for an additional amount equal to 8% of her max HP, so that's not bad, helps. And her rage attacks cause all allies to recover 150 rage. That's the one I preferred and liked, but again, it's not game-breaking. Just like, um, I was really excited to do Yamamoto because he's one of those characters that definitely has needed some help. And as you can see, the attributes, when you get them maxed, you know, you get damage rates an extra 4%, damage reduction rate 4%, and 
etc etc so that helps a lot um the one thing i was really excited for was um his second skill when it's fully maxed at the beginning of odd number rounds inflict one stack of burns so you're getting that extra stack on the odd rounds honestly after using him i really think they should have just he should have been able to do a burn stack every round i mean it's great if it gets later in the game it helps a lot i think he would have been so much better if they did it every round maybe it would have been too much who knows but I have been using him more, though, so it has benefited him a lot in my use of him. My most recent one that I just completed, which I was really looking forward to, was Yachiro, because I really like doing female teams, all female teams, especially in Worlds. So, And I really like hers a lot. I haven't had a chance to really sit down and work on a full female team with her, because honestly... I don't build up a lot of my characters to save resources um, for in-server play. But because things get leveled out in cross-server play, that's where I pull them out. So I'm really excited to try her out the next time we have a major cross-server tournament such as Worlds. Because I like hers. Her first one, you know, when you only have two of them, she gains a shield equal to 5% of her max HP for one round after an enemy uses a rage attack. But what I like is it's stackable, so you can get that three times, so you're basically getting up to 15%. When she socketed the six, six out of six, she recovers 100 rage and gains 10% increased attack and defense for one round after an enemy uses a rage attack. And this also um, can stack three times for the attack and defense buff. That's... So I really like hers, and she's so crucial on an all-female team. I think this is one's going to go a long way. And there's they're all good, okay? They're, none of them are bad. Some are much better than others. But again, nothing I have seen that's groundbreaking, okay? Um, I'm curious to really try out Kenpachi's and Zangetsu's in particular. I really want to try Zangetsu's out. Haven't been able to get him completed the only other one that I've gotten completed that I am actually looking forward to and bringing him back in to my <clears throat> Nell team for bleed, my bleed teams, um, is Urahara because at the beginning of every round, the chance of acting his Gigai increases by 10%. So that's incredibly helpful because we know that's really his strong point on the front line. And when you get 6 out of 6, he regenerates 10% of max HP after receiving a critical hit. Not spectacular, but it's going to help keep him going, you know, and those extra attributes. So that's a big plus. So let's have some fun here. I've taken a team that you guys have seen a lot before, and I've plugged in a couple of them, okay? Three of them to be correct. All right, so let's see how this one works out. And like I said, I've been testing these guys around and realizing that you got to be kind of particular in where you pick and choose to put them so, so i mean it'll be i think it will become much more beneficial in worlds when you have to do seven teams but when you're really only focusing on three teams most of the time at best you know you don't see you don't see yourself plugging them in there as much so that's that's kind of a big letdown but as you can see let's see you know this is a team that's definitely not as good um, missing three of their main characters, and, and one of them, of course, being Christmas Orihime, and the other being Halloween Nemu on the field. That That's a big loss right there, as well as my, probably my major, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, offense. You know, Summertime Gein is just so good with that rage reduction, as well as hitting that back line. So let's see what happens here. Um, and, you know, from what I've seen, this team with these players put in there still holds up. You know, I don't know if anybody else plays this one, anyone else that watches videos with me plays One Punch Man Road to Hero 2.0, but they did an attribute type thing on there. That's another Oasis game. And theirs is game breaking, absolutely game breaking, and very extensive, and very costly actually. So in some ways, you can you gotta kind of appreciate a more simplified version in this game, so free to play players don't get completely raked over the coals over anybody that spends in this game.
you know, team's faring pretty well so far. Again, this is a solid team. Doesn't mean I'm going to win. Because it definitely... Offense is going to be a bit of an issue with this team. Really, really relying on the old man, and he's just not going to cut it. I mean, I've got AY, but you know that's for singles. We're probably going to lose Unahana, which is actually not a bad thing because you're going to get that boost to the team and the damage reduction for two rounds. So that's going to help this team and see if they can actually break through. Get a little Halloween Nemu action. Probably should have put someone else in that back line. But again, I really wanted to rely on the team itself. That was nice. Alright, AY. Come on, take her out. Nice. Wish it would have been Christmas for Hime, but... That's okay. Because they're going to end up healing. Well, if this front line holds, we might we have a good chance. As I say that, she dies. <laughs> Bye, Yuki. Wasn't expecting her to go. I was hoping for some zeros. Uh, this is, yeah, she got the reset, so it's going to be tough. Oh, good. Okay. We definitely have a good chance now. But if you've watched any of my other videos... You know that this is a tough team. I put up a pretty solid team against it. And so replacing three characters shows a lot. Oh, he's going. But this is a good sign. Should be able to clear this off. Nice. Yeah, see? You know, so, so they're definitely playable. And we got an extra burn this round. Ah, I thought we were going to get AY killed. That's not good. That's not good. We may lose this one. Because AY is going to probably take someone out. Oh, she's not going to rage. That's a good thing. But he's going to probably kill somebody. Ooh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh, I still lost somebody. Okay, let's see... Come on. Oh, why couldn't have you done it on AY? Ugh. Ugh, they're going to hit the wrong character. Damn it. Yeah, this is not looking good. But again, it was a hell of a battle. They held up well. We're in round six. Oh, well, take that back. I might get lucky. And that's when the burn paid off. As Ichigo went. Uh, oh, the burn seat. There we go. What can I say? How can I knock? You know, those extra burns is, gonna, is basically what's going to have won this game for me. So, hey, hats off to the old man. He gets the credit for this one. Let's take a look at the stats real quickly. Nothing surprising on that front line. But you know what? AY at 25% and the old man at 22. So you can't complain about that. And like, like I always say, if your back line's giving you, you know, 60 plus percent, that's what you want to see. And we're clocking in there a little over 60%, basically 62%. So can't complain about that at all. So again, when we talk about Awakened Summons, I really can't stress enough. 
these are not game breaking okay it should not be a huge worry um if you have other things to focus on focus on those first is it fun to be able to take some of these older characters out and test them out and try them and and hopefully down the road really be able to work some fun teams maybe for worlds that would be like your sixth and seventh team heck yeah that's gonna make, actually make it much more interesting for me but again it's not crucial and what i find more importantly is okay you got this recycle bin i don't keep the blues i just recycle them but man don't get rid of your purples and that's why my purples are so low i put them on all my characters because it really does give a little boost and those characters that you abuse all the time your nails and I don't know your anniversary Eisens and even your defensive players like Yuki, man, it's a big push. Like when you can see my Yuki right now, she's getting an extra twenty percent HP, twenty percent in attack, and twenty percent in defense. Can't argue with that. That's great. Gives her a little extra push over the top, which is really, 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 really nice. I mean. Even look at Christmas Orihime, same thing. She only gets a defense of 15. One of these must not be a full one. Let's see. Yeah, top one. I, I still need to get the right one for her, so I'm only getting that. But when I get that one in with the defensive um, instead of the attack bottom, she's going to get that extra 5% defense too. So I, those are that's where I think in the long run... Um, it's going to be nice because it's going to help your main three teams. But again, none of this is game breaking. Again, with everything in this game, just have a good time. I know people are freaked out. A lot of people bailed. Um, some longtime players. It really, you don't need to put into it. I hadn't spent anything on these at all except for just those minor things from the shops. No, no heavy investment until um the christmas event because it did have that crazy deal where you got five thousand for 50 or ten thousand um for 99 so i didn't do those because i didn't need anything else so i had some fun i wanted to be able to create a video i wanted to be able to show you guys um you know what they look like and what you can do with them so i did it for that but i'm not going to do any more that's just because that was an insanely good deal I wouldn't touch any of the other ones, quite honestly. The last recommendation I got, though, for you guys is something I have learned over the last month doing this. Accumulate your Awakened Summons. As you can see, I got, I've got, i accumulated 2085. I won't even use those. Okay, what I'm finding is dropping the 1,000, dropping, you know, two poles or three poles... Wait, if you can have the patience, wait until at least you've got five or six pulls. I know it sounds like it might take a while, but it's well worth it. I've noticed the reds drop much better when you're doing multiples in a line. When I was just doing the first week or two it came out, I'd do, whenever I hit one pull, I would do it. And I was not getting hardly any drops. And as soon as I started waiting and doing them in multiples, like once a week, is what I try to do now. And if if I've accumulated enough. And if I haven't I wait longer. I've noticed um, exponentially. The amount of, of the wish list ones dropping. So just a hint. I don't have percentages for you. I'm not watching it. I've just noticed it's been very obvious. Alright with that. I hope everybody's having a good week. It's been quiet in the game. So I thought I'd finally drop this video this week hopefully we're going to start to see some new gameplay and new stuff hitting this game in the next four to six weeks as anticipated with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot take care have a great weekend